Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today normally I'd be doing a dank memes from Site 19 video. I'm going to push that to Thursday. Not feeling really very good, didn't want to have to be on camera today, so instead I'm going to do a reading of a tale that I wrote, um, actually not too long ago, just a few days ago. So uh, let's go ahead and start. I guess I should give the Creative Commons warning. Uh, <laughs> The Three Distinct Deaths of Dr. Sumerian was written by me and can be found in the link in the description below. It is under a Creative Commons Sharealike Attribution 3.0 license. The first time I died was one of the best days of my life. It's not that my life before was so terrible. I mean, it wasn't, honestly. But the feeling of shedding all that baggage and expectation is one of the most freeing things I can imagine happening to a person. So the day that I joined the SCP Foundation was the first day of my life as someone new. See, Dr. Sumerian wouldn't have the same hang-ups as the old me. He would never spend half a decade with a crush on a friend from high school and not ask her out. He could get over how hopeless the world is and really live for once. He might be more assertive, less reliant on alcohol to feel like a real person. He'd eat better, exercise more. It only took like a week for that new car smell to wear off. After I died, I was still me, just with a different name. Same hang-ups as always, the same troubles. And it was then that I started to realize that the problem truly lied with me, not the world around me. We tie up a lot of ourselves in an externalized view, so we do what we do because of our parents, or because of our environment, our names, or our identity. We think that if only we weren't so closely attached to our histories, maybe we'd be better people. But that kind of self-reflection is only useful in creating stumbling blocks. I made my problem something outside of myself, so I wouldn't have to face the truth. I'm a bad person. And there's no shame in that. Most people are. Most people would rather save themselves than a child in danger. We pretend we're the hero in our heads. We game out a dozen scenarios on how we'd step up when the chips are down, and sometimes you even surprise yourself. And you actually become that hero, but those times are the exception to the rule. The truth is that we are who we are, and nothing will ever change that. I looked up that girl from high school a while back. Couldn't help myself. She's been married for well over a decade. Six kids. Genuine smiles in every picture. Is she living the perfect life? No. Not at all. There's not enough work, not enough money, not enough happiness to go around. But she, she smiles anyway, and she means it. I should know. That smile's the only thing I can see when I close my eyes. And that's when the self-reflection starts to turn back on itself, you know? Imagination will take over. What if I'd spoken up? What if I'd said what I really meant? I mean, I cherish the friendship we had, but I could have been more honest with myself and with her. And then what happens? We get married. We have half a dozen kids, and she smiles, maybe, and probably not, and less than she does now. I know what I am. I'm broken, and no amount of love and understanding is going to change that fact. Now, do I deserve happiness? Absolutely. But is it worth it at the expense of somebody else's? No, I don't think so. Not if you truly care about them. Sometimes the best thing you can do for someone is to just leave them alone. So I close the Facebook tab. I go back to work. I think about my first death when I left everything behind to become a new man. And then I wonder what my second death is going to be like after the amnestics, after the reconditioning, after adjusting to being a civilian again. Will I be whole? Will I still know myself? Will I still hurt the people around me? When I die a third time, they're lowering me into the ground. Will anyone care? Doesn't really matter. I've got work to do. Thank you very much for listening. If you enjoyed the video or the tale, go on over and read it on the SCP Wiki itself and uh, hit the subscribe button. I will definitely get the Dank Memes video out on Thursday. I just really wasn't feeling too uh, up to it today, and I, I didn't want to put out a uh, I didn't want to put out a reaction video where I'm reacting to memes and I'm just not myself and or energetic enough to truly react the way I I, uh, I think I should. So I thought I'd put it off. 
But yeah, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash D Sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including MC Cashmill, who's pledged at $50, and Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100. It is nice to know that I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Thursday.